우리나라의 이종욱 박사가 WHO의 차기 사무총장으로 공식 선출됐습니다. 한국인으로서는 처음으로 유엔 산하 전문 기구에 In January 2003, a Korean was appointed as the head of the international agency for the first time in world history. Dr. Lee Jong-woo, the sixth director general of WHO, took the position after serving at the organization for 20 years. Working with leprosy was what ultimately led the young Dr. E to WHO. He began to follow the path of finding a cure and treatment for leprosy after meeting a leprosy patient at a community health center in Korea. He first joined WHO in 1983 as a leprosy consultant in the South Pacific, excessively filled various posts such as head of the global program on vaccines and immunization and director of the Stop TB department. After being inaugurated as Director General in 2003, he focused on building a healthcare system to benefit all people around the world. While serving as Executive Secretary of the Children's Vaccine Initiative in 1998, Dr. E achieved the feat of reducing the polio prevalence rate to one out of every 10,000 people in the world. For that, he was given the nickname Vaccine Czar. Dr. E spearheaded the agency's efforts to combat and prevent AIDS, one of the most serious life-threatening communicable diseases. Through the 3x5 program, which aimed at providing antiviral AIDS drugs to 3 million AIDS patients in less developed countries by 2005. He was also widely recognized for his pre-science in predicting an increase of epidemics in the global era and for coming up with effective response measures as evidenced by the establishment of the Framework Convention on Tobacco Control, the first international agreement in the global healthcare sector suspension of the spread of avian influenza in 2004, and the opening of the Strategic Health Operations Center, SHOC, or the JWE Center at the WHO headquarters in Geneva. Dr. E died unexpectedly on May 22, 2006, in the third year of his five-year term in office. His many achievements are still highly regarded by healthcare workers across the globe as model cases that highlight their way forward. I would like the assembly to observe now two minutes of silence. <laughs> His focus on the importance of fostering young healthcare workers in less developed countries and his drive for practicing his belief of doing the right thing in the right place in the right manner have become the philosophy of Kofi, which was established in memory of Dr. E. My father loved to experience more, do more, see more. I believe that this adventurousness made him great at work and at life. If ever he seemed stern, or impatient, I believe it was because he had so much to accomplish in the time that he had. Kofi has carried on Dr. E's lifetime dedication to health through operating various memorial programs. We have invited and trained next generation healthcare workers of partnership countries every year since 2007 through the Dr. E Jong Uk Fellowship. We have recognized groups and individuals that have contributed to public health care by awarding the WHO E Jong Uk Memorial Prize for Public Health. We have also operated the E Jong Uk Memorial Project and the E Jong Uk Global Young Frontier Program to foster future healthcare leaders.
very much concerned about the health condition of uh, the people, and uh, this is uh, our response. And, uh, I'm glad that uh, we are building this. Don't stay in Zambia, but for the world, there's a second chance. That uh, they know that the, the world cares for them, and otherwise, uh, why would we be here?